It doesn't matter if you just started off cooking or you're a really serious cook. You should definitely invest in a thermometer. Not only does a thermometer help you get the perfect internal temperatures, but it also helps you monitor the cooking environment, ensuring that your food comes out great every single time. In this video, I'm gonna go over some of my favorite thermometers that I've purchased over the last few years, ranging from the most entry-level, budget-friendly version with the basic features, all the way to the latest and greatest with all the bells and whistles. And I'm gonna tell you why, even though you may not think you need a thermometer, you should definitely invest in one. Let's dive in. There's a lot of different thermometers out there, but probably the most common is this thermometer here. It's very compact, it's very easy to use, the probe flips out, and it's ready to go. But thermometers can come in all shapes and sizes with a bunch of different features. This is probably a level up from the one that I previously showed you. And then of course you have the slightly better one. This is actually a wireless version. You can actually remove the transmitter, keep the base with your food, and technically you'd be able to monitor the temperatures of your food from anywhere in the selected range. And then you have the more advanced stuff like this Meter Plus, which has all of the bells and whistles. But what all these thermometers share and have in common is they help you, the cook, from destroying your expensive meal. So a thermometer is always useful, no matter which one you get. And if you don't have one, start off with the most basic one. But let's dive in a little deeper and let's talk about each specific unit and what are you exactly getting when you upgrade. Okay, so as I mentioned previously, this is the most common and the cheapest thermometer you can get right now. These range at around $10 or so. For every thermometer that I have in this video, I'll make sure to list it in the link below. It's gonna be an Amazon affiliate link. Click on it, doesn't cost you anything, but if you like what you see, you can purchase it for yourself. These are really, really basic. They're very portable. It's all one complete package. As soon as the thermometer swings out, the unit turns on. You have a backlight here, illuminates what you need to see at night, if you're cooking something at night, or if you're having a long, low and slow session, where maybe you're cooking a brisket overnight. Almost every thermometer out there will switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius, so that's not something that you necessarily have to worry about anymore. And this particular one here has a printed guide right on the face of it to reference particular meats and the right temperatures for each, whether you're cooking chicken or beef or so forth. But it doesn't have an internal guide, so you really need to know the safe internal temperatures for whatever it is that you're trying to cook. A neat feature is it does have a hold feature, so if you're you know, trying to get a particular reading, you can hold it on that reading. But overall, I would say this has served me pretty well. It has a bottle opener that never really worked very well. It does have a magnet so you can stick it on your refrigerator or whatever. And the battery life actually has been really good. I've never had to change the battery in the last two years that I've owned this, which is pretty incredible, but I don't use it all the time. So your mileage may vary. Okay, now a huge step up from the basic digital pocket thermometer is this little guy, which is actually my budget friendly recommendation for most of you out there. The biggest drawback is the cords. As you can see here, I'm struggling to keep this thing together. But I gotta tell you, this is a really good thermometer, really good digital thermometer. They do include two probes, and I'm a firm believer in having an ambient temperature and an internal temperature. This is a really old model. I know that they've updated now, and I think it comes with four probes now, which is great. It also has a magnet in the back if you need to stick it somewhere, but the magnet's not very strong. And it also has like a little stand, but the stand's not very good, but I never cared about those things. You turn the unit on back here and you can actually switch to a temperature setting or a timer setting. And then of course you have your Fahrenheit and Celsius toggle in the back as well. It also has a printed guide on the side if you need it, but where you really step up with this model is, it's already loaded with presets for most of the meats that you're looking to cook, whether it's chicken, pork, lamb, beef, you name it. And it also has the pre-selected internal temperatures for the doneness that you want for each cook. So for example, if you're looking to cook some beef and you want it medium rare, it has that pre-setting already built into the device which is great, it's fantastic. You have a reference point. Now, of course, you can manually toggle it and change it or modify it any way that you want to get whatever desired temperature that you need. Now, you can't change the presets. You can't really get too technical with it or, or customize it you know, deeper than what it already has, but you can adjust the temperatures or you can just start off with a fresh cook. You just can't modify the presets. 
This particular thermometer is made by ThermPro, which I love. I mean, I've had it for a long time and it's never failed me. It's extremely reliable. I've never had an issue with this thing turning off or not reading the temperatures because it's wired, right? I mean, as long as it's wired, everything's plugged in right, you're good to go. I primarily use this one in my oven for, you know, roasts or Thanksgiving dinners. If I only have one regret, I wish it had more probes. But like I said, I think they've upgraded this model and I think it now comes with three or four probes. And ThermPro sells like higher versions of this. When I first bought this, it was somewhere around 20 bucks and you can expect it to be under $30. I'm not quite sure where this particular model is at right now or the updated version, but it's fairly cheap and you get a lot for your money. It's super reliable. The biggest cons to this particular model is the magnet sucks, it never sticks where I need it to go. And of course the little dinky stand that they give you doesn't really do anything. But a big con to wired thermometers in general is the cords, right? I mean, you're really stuck with the cord length. I mean, they're very generous though. They give you a lot, you know, of room and length to deal with, but it's not cordless. You can't take it with you everywhere. It needs to stay put with whatever it is that you're cooking. The alarm that goes off is fairly loud, but it's not super loud. So if you're in another room watching the game, you gotta lower the volume or else you're not gonna really hear the alarm. Now a step up to the basic wired digital thermometer is pretty much the same thing, but now you have a receiver and a transmitter. So this is something that was actually given to me as a gift, and I've never heard of this company, but it's called Smart Gear. But it's a pretty good thermometer. There's a little dial, switch it on, and you have all your presets just like the previous model. You have your fish, your beef, your pork, your lamb, your chicken, whatever. You can set your own temperatures, or you can select one of the presets and shoot for well done, medium rare, rare, whatever it is that you need. Now the actual transmitter stays with the food and the transmitter has your basic probe with your wire. So this is definitely a step up. You still have a wired probe. I mean, it's not 100% wireless, but the nice thing is the transmitter stays with the food and the receiver goes with you. This particular model sells for I think around 50 bucks, somewhere around there. And honestly, it's not too bad. You're getting everything that you would have gotten with the previous model that I showed you with the added benefit of having a you know wireless receiver that you can take with you everywhere but there's one major flaw this receiver does not have a very good range so it's not like you can put this in the backyard with the barbecue and then go inside and you know go to your living room and watch tv it's pretty limited i don't i don't think the signal strength is too good but it does give you some some room you can kind of walk around you kind of do your thing and keep an eye on things a big flaw though is when the signal does go out and you don't have you know, that communication anymore, there's no way of knowing. There's no indicator that says, hey, you've lost signal. And the reason for that is because the way that this thing works is it occasionally flashes you know, when it has a signal and it will display you know, like a little wireless transmission at the top. But you have to kind of watch it and look for that. If you don't see the flash, and you missed it, you kind of wonder if it's actually still communicating or not. So I've kind of had this thing burn me a couple times where I'm doing a low and slow cook and you know, it's pretty stable at 250 degrees or so. And I look at it and go, oh cool, we're still at 250 degrees. And then I'll kind of stare at it for a little longer and go, wait a minute, it's not flashing anymore. Oh crap, I lost signal. I'm not really at 250 degrees anymore. And then, you know, I walk closer and I realize I've dropped down to like 190 or something. So it's a big flop, but this is a really old model, so they may have upgraded theirs. I know there's better ones out there, but you're gonna pay more for it. Which actually brings me to my next model, which is completely wireless. These are the meter probes. What I have here is the meter block and the meter plus. We'll talk about the block in just a minute. Let's talk about the plus. Now the plus is one level higher than the base model. I do not recommend the base model because the base model is gonna give you everything that you see here. It's gonna look great and you're gonna get the app, which is fantastic. But the range on that basic model is probably as good as that previous probe that I showed you guys. It's not very good at all. You don't get much range. The plus definitely has better range and so does the block but it's still not great. We'll get to the cons in a second. The Meter Probe and the Meter Probe Company is a fantastic probe. This is literally how simple it is. You take the probe out of the wooden base and you can see here there's a flashing light and it's communicating. When you put the probe back in, it automatically charges everything up. In the back, you remove your door which is held together by magnets and you have one single battery. To be exact, a AAA battery, which can last for a pretty decent amount of time. 
Now, if you're doing long cooks, 12 hours plus, like a brisket, yeah, sure, the battery life isn't gonna be great, especially if you're doing that a lot, but it should last you for one brisket, maybe two. But overall, this thing's really clean, it looks fantastic, and it's all completely monitored through your app. The app has everything you need. You can set custom cooks, you can make your own presets, you can follow their presets, you can monitor the battery life, you can do firmware updates, you can check your signal strength. I mean, it literally is extremely intuitive and gives you everything that you need, all the controls that you need to do whatever it is that you wanna do. The best part is the tip on this probe right here is your internal sensor. Whatever you drive this into, you're gonna be monitoring the internal temperatures. On the back, you have another temperature sensor, and this is gonna monitor your ambient or your environment temperature. That is absolutely fantastic. The most important thing that you gotta know is you have to stick this thing in past that mark right there. And you have to allow the other end of this thermometer to stick out far enough so you can get a good signal and of course get a good reading for your environmental or ambient temperature. But you can see here that you have one complete package and it's really well thought out. But there are a couple of flaws. And the biggest flaw for all of the meter probes is the range. Unfortunately, they advertise something like 150 or 165 feet of range that you can get with the meter plus. I don't get that, especially in my barbecue. It tends to work a little bit better in the oven, but there has been some times when it's just completely failed and I've had to take it out and you know put it back in the block and play with it a little bit and stick it back into the food. So you don't wanna fiddle with this thing when you're in the middle of a cook. It really does disappoint you when the signal drops. In the barbecue, for whatever reason, whether it's a kettle barbecue or a gas barbecue, there's not much range. So technically you're supposed to be able to set the block next to whatever it is that you're cooking, right? as close as possible to the probe. And this thing's supposed to connect to your Wi-Fi and you know transmit the data through your Wi-Fi to your phone. Wherever you're at, you can be at the grocery store, as long as the block is near the probe, you should be good. But it's extremely finicky. I mean, sometimes I'll have this block like right next to the barbecue sitting on the table and it just won't communicate. It'll lose a signal randomly. So kind of strange, I mean, it's definitely better than the base model, but you definitely need this clear line of sight or you're not gonna get a good signal. So when I saw that they came out with the block, I figured, heck yeah, it's time to upgrade because I really love this idea. It's fantastic. So I upgraded to the meter block. Here's the meter block. This is like the Apple of thermometers, right? It's really nicely packaged, it's beautiful. The stand that comes with it is gorgeous. It sits right there on your countertop. It's definitely pleasing. And everybody that sees this is always asking me about it, right? They're like fascinated by it. You get four probes. The probes are all individually labeled. They're etched on there. You can see, you know, if you're picking up probe one or two or three, the build quality is fantastic. Although the display or the main unit right here is not really aligned really well in the block. You can see it's not straight, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna go crazy about that. It's fine. You do have a USB port here, but it's not what you think. When I first bought this thing, I thought, great, it's gonna have an internal battery. You'll be able to charge the block up and you're good to go. You won't have to really use batteries anymore. Well, not necessarily. This USB cable is actually a hard line. It's something that you have to always have plugged in. So for example, if you have this on your countertop and you don't wanna use batteries, great. You can plug it in, you can hardwire it, and there you go, you have power. But as soon as you disconnect it, if your batteries are dead inside or you don't have any batteries, it shuts off. So it's not actually charging anything. It doesn't have an internal battery. Instead, if you remove the plate in the back, and they're also held together by magnets, you get four AA batteries. So if you want this to be completely wireless, you have to make sure you have fresh batteries in there. And it eats up batteries really quick, especially if you're using all four probes. So, that's really disappointing. I wish they would have just put an internal battery in this thing, let you charge it up and you get, you know, an amazing life out of it, but they didn't do that. So big miss with this company. I mean, if they would have done that, this would have been the perfect device and it's not cheap, it's 250 bucks. So you would think that it would have an internal battery, but it does. By the way, the Meter Plus comes in at around 100 bucks and the base model comes in around 60. If they were to update this model and throw in an internal battery that lasts for a really long time and improve the range, right? I bought this because I was hoping it would improve the range, but the range is almost the same thing as the Meter Plus. It occasionally loses the signal. I get all the same issues. 
If they can improve the range and throw an internal battery, it would be a game changer. This would be the thermometer to buy, whether you're a chef, a home cook, a serious cook, a barbecuer, whatever. It would literally kill the competition. Guys, if you're watching this video, come on, let's improve this thing. It's time. So to summarize the meter block and the meter plus, they're very well made. They look fantastic. They have all the bells and whistles. You have your internal temperature, your ambient temperature, an amazing app. And the base model comes in at 60 bucks with the plus coming in at hundred bucks. I think that's pretty reasonable. The block is missing a couple of features and I think it's a little bit overpriced. And the biggest cons to the meter probes are reliability, but it's not the sensors. The sensors are extremely reliable. I think it dials in the temperature beautifully. The reliability is in the range. They tend to disconnect pretty frequently. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? Buy a thermometer. No matter which thermometer you end up getting, it's extremely important. My recommendation to you is, I would start off with this wired version. It has everything that you need. It's a step up from the pocket digital thermometer, but you may want this as well because they're extremely portable and you literally just walk up to your food and stick the probe in there and you get an instant reading. But whatever it is that you may decide on, just make sure you get one. It's really gonna help you learn your internal temperatures. And eventually you'll be able to just feel your steak and know exactly what the internal temperature is. And if you have a medium rare or a well done steak, and if you overcooked it or not. But in general, a thermometer is always useful. When I'm barbecuing, I almost always use a thermometer. Unless I have a really thin cut of steak where I know, you know, it's gonna cook really quick and I can feel it engage it real quick. Even with a thicker cut of steak, I usually do the reverse sear method, stick a thermometer in there, get the temperature that I need, take it out, sear it, and I'm good to go. And my steaks are always perfect. And likewise, if I'm doing a beer can chicken, a brisket, a tri-tip, doesn't matter what it is, a thermometer is always useful. And I love being able to monitor the ambient temperatures. And of course, inside the kitchen, if you're making something really complex, like a beef wellington, a thermometer is your best friend. Now, if you're considering a step up and you want a wireless thermometer for that added range and a bit more freedom, just keep in mind that it seems like, at least to me, most of the wireless thermometers out there do have a limited range and the meter probe isn't perfect, but it's definitely the top of the line, in my opinion. I would personally skip on the wired receiver transmitter thermometers. And if you're really looking for a wireless thermometer, I think the meter probe is a very good model to get. Skip the base model and just go with the meter plus. But if you're really serious about cooking, you cook a lot of meals all at once, and maybe you're a huge griller and you have different things that you're doing on different grills, then the meter block is probably the thermometer that you need. And this is fantastic. I love this. I really do but I don't use it very often. You can tell it's almost brand new. I still have the sticker on there. I bought this a long time ago when it first came out. I actually pre-ordered it, but I never ended up using it because I've never had to use all four. And since I already had the Meter Plus and I used and abused that thing, you know, I was happy with the Meter Plus. And if I'm being quite honest with you guys, I still do use the pocket thermometer. This thing's very convenient if you just need a quick reading. So I use all of them. That's it for me, guys. I hope you found this video informative. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of my next video. And if you can, please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Check them out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.